The story of Atlantis is a tale that has captivated people for centuries. It is a story of a powerful and advanced civilization that vanished beneath the waves. This lost city, Atlantis, has been the subject of much debate and speculation. Was it a real place or simply a myth? The story of Atlantis comes to us primarily from the writings of the Greek philosopher Plato. In his dialogues Timaeus and Critias, Plato describes Atlantis in great detail. He tells of its people, its culture, and its eventual downfall. While many dismiss Atlantis as a work of fiction, others believe that Plato's account may hold clues to a real lost civilization. This essay will explore both sides of the Atlantis debate, examining the evidence and arguments for and against its existence. Join us on a journey as we delve into the mystery of Atlantis. Plato describes Atlantis as an island nation located in the Atlantic Ocean. He wrote that it existed thousands of years before his time. According to Plato, Atlantis possessed advanced technology and a powerful military. The Atlanteans, as they were called, were said to be a wise and sophisticated people. They had a complex social structure and were skilled in architecture, engineering and the arts. Plato describes their capital city as a marvel of engineering, with concentric rings of canals and magnificent temples and palaces. However, the Atlanteans' prosperity and power led to their downfall. They became arrogant and greedy, Plato says. This angered the gods who decided to punish Atlantis for its hubris. Despite Plato's detailed account, concrete evidence of Atlantis's existence remains elusive. Some researchers point to archaeological discoveries and geological formations as possible proof. These include ancient structures submerged beneath the sea and unusual land formations that could have been islands in the past. For example, the discovery of the ruins of Dwarka, an ancient city off the coast of India, has been cited as potential evidence for Atlantis. Similarly, the Bimini Road, a submerged rock formation in the Bahamas, has been linked to the lost city. However, mainstream archaeology and geology generally do not support these claims. Critics argue that the evidence is often misinterpreted or taken out of context. The lack of definitive proof continues to fuel the debate. Section 4. Geological Anomalies Traces of a Lost World some proponents of Atlantis's existence argue that geological events could explain the city's disappearance. They point to evidence of volcanic eruptions, earthquakes and tsunamis in various parts of the world. These events, they say, could have destroyed Atlantis and submerged it beneath the ocean. The cataclysmic eruption of the Thera volcano, which is modern-day Santorini, around 1600 BC, for instance, is often cited as a possible event that could have inspired the Atlantis legend. This eruption devastated the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete and caused widespread destruction in the Mediterranean region. While it is true that such catastrophic events have occurred throughout history, there is no direct geological evidence linking them to the destruction of a civilization like Atlantis. Section 5 Mythological Interpretations and Allegory for Humanity Many scholars believe that Atlantis, even if not a real place, served a deeper purpose in Plato's writings. They argue that the story is an allegory, a fictional tale designed to convey a moral or philosophical message. In this interpretation, Atlantis represents the dangers of unchecked ambition and the importance of moral virtue. Plato may have used the story to warn against the corrupting influence of power and the importance of living in harmony with nature and the divine. This view sees Atlantis as a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most advanced civilizations can fall prey to their own flaws.